Hey guys, so we are back with Dancing Nomads and we are looking at building our mobile app for Android and iOS. And what we're looking at right now is the navigation for Dancing Nomads. I've had been having a little bit of trouble with React Navigation and that React Navigation is the package that everybody says that we should be using. I've been finding it pretty good. It's pretty easy to set up, but there are also some difficult parts which you, makes you have to dig for information. Um, so this is where we're starting off. Let's take a look at our router. We have everything routed up. I have uh, I, I'm using the drawer navigator and I've imported that with react navigation here I have to find all my components um, which are the screens and I have them set up here in the create drawer navigation and I put that my drawer navigate my drawer navigator into the create app navigator which I exported as the root app and I'm using that root app in the app.js my 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 root file which is with uh, which is encapsulated by the provider store for for uh, react redux now i am also using redux segas and the trouble that i found is that whenever i'm done with everything like i'm when i'm done logging in and i'm setting up my my uh, cookies I don't even know if you can call them cookies, but setting up the key value pairs of my async storage because there are certain there are certain data that I need in order to make my app function properly. But after setting all that up, I had some trouble navigating back to the profile page because, for example, whenever we log in, we want to throw the user back to the profile page where they can do things. So. What I had to do is I had to look up React Navigation and and uh, had a little bit of a problem. If we did React, uh, you can see here that I have Navigation Actions. If I do navigationactions.navigate profile, that will not do anything. That will not throw me back to the profile page. What will happen is we'll just sit there like sitting ducks. So I'm looking at this um, this page, which is the the uh, react navigation issues and the title is navigation navigating from redux sega thunk or in reducer and i found out that i had to follow michael's michael's advice where we had to make uh navigation service.js and you have to make this file and import the navigation service wherever you want to use it and the benefit here is that this um this functions without being integrated to with Redux, which is fantastic because I don't want to do that. It seems like a lot of work and I have to learn um, and I don't really want to learn right now. So this is a really good uh, a service file that we can use and import in order to navigate around to anything. So that's what we did. Um, so if you can go, if you go, we go back to our Segas, you can see that I imported pretty much everything from the navigation service file which I define here that pretty much just copy and paste from what they had there on the on the page. And I would call navigation service dot navigate uh, profile. Now if I just added this, this will actually function the same as navigation actions. So it'll do nothing, which is not what we want. But what I found is I had to also import the navigation service into my root app file. So I imported that there and when the component mounted uh, when we call, we will call component did mount. We will in that function we'll call a navigation service and we'll set navigator, this navigator, which is pretty much what was recommended here as well. Uh, what what he did here. So that's pretty much it. That will allow me to have the the feature where when a person logs in, when a when one of my users log in, they will get thrown here and if they're successfully log in then we will navigate back to their profile we will throw them back to the profile page which right now is empty so they'll actually see an empty screen um, so that's pretty much it uh, i just wanted to go through that for with you guys if you are having troubles with navigation in react native of course i am using react navigation which you should probably uh, to, uh, use too because it's probably the most widely supported uh, out uh, out there for react native as far as my research goes which is very brief but anyways 
Follow me on uh, Instagram if you haven't already. It will be under the handle Dancing Nomads. So you go to Instagram.com slash Dancing Nomads or on Facebook, which is Facebook.com slash Dancing Nomads. Or if you are watching this video, you, you might be watching it on YouTube. So you can find that under Dancing Nomads as well. Uh, most of my development videos would probably be on YouTube because that seems like the place for how-to videos and where to learn anything and everything. So you can find development videos there if you're a developer and I will see you guys uh, later. Well, there's one more thing. If you haven't joined us already, please join us at DancingNomads.com. If you're a dancer and you're looking for dance partners, you can do so there. And with that being said, I will see you guys later.